This is probably the best John boat to bass boat conversion tip you will ever hear because I've never heard this, but it's definitely something you should think about. Check out that catfish. What is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure before we start this video I'm actually gonna do an unboxing. This is from another fan sent me some baits. We have a note here Sir Adam Ryan <laughs> Adam, thank you for making awesome content best of luck on your trip most importantly be safe and catch some giants Maybe check out Dollywood while you're in Tennessee your boat advice is greatly appreciated Dollywood I will definitely check it out Remember, there's a reason your name is on the side of a monster truck. Keep grinding, my guy. Hope you like the bait. Sincerely. I can't read that. Uh, remember, there's a reason your name is on the side of a monster truck. So he sent me a picture. He is a monster truck driver, or used to be. And he sent me this picture, and the first thing I saw was my name. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. But he sent me this box. Let me see where he's from. So Jeremy is from Illinois. Let's see what we got. Oh boy, look at that. We got a lipless jig it reel it. We got a spinnerbait. A whole bunch of microplastics, it looks like. Micro, man, those things were tiny. Dude, look at that blade bait. That thing is so tiny. That is awesome. <laughs> More plastics. A pulse jig. All right, so he was telling me about this when he was messaging me. He sent me this color because of the name Tennessee Shad. We're heading out to Tennessee. So uh, he sent me over these. I'm actually going to be trying these today because the shad have been running like crazy. I'm going to start going fishing in the morning and then working on the John boat at night. So that is my pretty much my game plan for the next month or so until the boat is done. And then we'll just be fishing. But we also got a scale blade. That might be good too today for the Chad walleye jig. I've never seen one with a ribbon like that before. I'll have to try that. Oh, this one's cool too. A Raptor Premium Spinnerbait. It folds up so you can store it. That is pretty freaking sweet. And then we got a War Eagle Spinnerbait. Sweet. Dude, thank you, Jeremy. Thank you for all the stuff, and like I said, I'm gonna go right now to the lake and try this Tennessee Shad. So let's head down to the docks and go do some fishing. All right, let's see if Tennessee Shad work in Texas. Well guys, we got skunked. What a shame. Hurts to go to the lake one day and catch 15 in an hour, and then the next day, nothing. Really sucks, but uh, let's go ahead and start working on the John boat. All right, so I'm just spreading five minute epoxy all over this thing. Trying to avoid the areas where the AR is, obviously, because we won't need it there, but uh, it's not that easy. <laughs> I got five minutes to do it too, so. We need some weight battery. Eee. So it doesn't move and it's all pressed down. So I just got some plexiglass stuck to the back side of the AR piece. It is a uh, five minute epoxy. So I'm gonna give this about 15 minutes to dry. And while that dries, we're gonna work on the John boat. Let's throw these back in the box. Went out this morning and tried to use them. Didn't catch anything. Well, I only use the Tennessee Shad, but uh, once again, thank you, Jeremy. I will definitely be trying to use this stuff in Tennessee. So that needs to go in the truck. I just got this in the mail. This is gonna go under the recessed foot pedal. It's a water runoff. But uh, I'm also supposed to get my latches today as well. Guys, I keep getting questions about the wiring. People are saying, shouldn't I run the wiring before doing the deck? 
and I've already ran all the wiring to the back. All the lights and everything, the nav light, the bilge pump, all the wiring is all right here. I can't see what y'all are seeing. It's all right here. So all the wiring is already ran up here. This is where it's all gonna get connected to the batteries. And then of course I still need to run all the wiring for up here and holy crap I forgot the two inch pipe at the store. Dang it! I guess we'll do that after the Tennessee trip. Guys, there's gonna be a two week break from the boat build when I go to Tennessee, I'm sorry. But we are building another boat, so. And that one will be done way quicker than this one. <laughs> 10 days, probably quicker than 10 days, but we have a whole bunch of people to bust butt and get the boat done, so. You won't be seeing this boat build in the next two weeks, but you'll see a totally different new boat build that we're all working on, so. At least we'll have something to watch, right? Anyways, the latches, hopefully get those today. I'm actually gonna check my Amazon right now. So it actually says they are delivered. Sweet, let's go check the mail. Sweet. It's a big old box that I can't get out with one hand. <laughs> uh, come on. All right. We got the package. All right, let's open this guy up. We finally got our boat latches in. I say finally, but I uh, I really hesitated on ordering the latches just because latches are expensive. This is probably the best John boat to bass boat conversion tip you will ever hear because I've never heard this, but it's definitely something you should think about when designing your boat build. So here is all the latches. We got a lot. <laughs> Check this out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we got nine of the white cap locking T handle black nylon latches. So each one of these lock. I went ahead and got locking latches because I'm paranoid and I would be a lot more comfortable if I can lock all of these lids. So that's why I got the locking ones. But here's the thing, when you're designing your John boat, keep this in mind, these latches are not cheap. I think I paid like 35 bucks, 38 bucks for one. One, yeah, that's, it's insane. That's why I hesitated on ordering these for so long because they're just so expensive. These nine latches right here is $309. So yeah, I put nine hatches on this boat. So I need a latch for every lid, and which is nine. So yeah, guys, just keep that in mind. Whenever you make your hatches, you're gonna have to have latches, and uh, they're expensive. On the last build, I avoided having to spend all this money, and I went with this uh, tie-down strap here. It looks good on carpet boats, but to put these latches on a aluminum build of this caliber, it, it, it'd be kind of funny, it'd be dumb. I wouldn't, nah, I can't do it. So uh, I bit the bullet, I spent the $300, and now we have really good, awesome, lockable latches. So we will be installing these probably when I get back from uh, Tennessee. There's probably no time to do it today. At my last job, we had forklifts, and we had this box with like probably 50 feet of this bubble wrap. It's just a line of different bubbles. And my friend Jerry, the funniest guy I've ever met in my life, he put 50, he, <laughs> he put the entire thing in the hallway and he ran over it with the forklift. It was so freaking loud. It sounded like a machine gun. It was insane. Just imagine that 50 times with a forklift. <laughs> it was so funny. Ah, oh, good times, good times. I miss being around Jerry. He's so freaking funny. All right, let's go ahead and throw these latches back in the box. But I just wanted to show y'all that we got latches and give y'all that tip. The less hatches you make, the less latches you have to buy, the less money you have to spend. But it's up to you. I probably still would have put nine hatches knowing I would have had to buy nine latches, but 
it would have been easier to uh, do it if I knew from the start that I would be spending that much money. I need to clean and organize this garage today before I leave. I can't leave it like this. Let's see if this is done. It should be done. Ah. All right. She is done. Freaking beautiful. I probably should have painted that or wrapped it first. Oops. <laughs> oh well. We'll figure it out, dang it. I kind of want to wrap this in carbon fiber. Wrap all the inside walls and then the bottom will be foam to match the deck foam, but so that will sit like so. All right, I'm not gonna take off the back plastic until I'm ready to install it, just so it doesn't get all scratched up. But that is done. So we need to attach these lids. That is today's goal. Just get these lids attached. All right, we got the first door attached. Looking good. Ah! 